Hi, this is Luke. I would like to make a review of the 9BOT Z10 after around 3200 kilometers and uh, to make a very long story short, ah, everything is okay. So 9BOT is quite fine and uh, uh, I had no general issues with the wheel. However, I would like to address a few things uh, which maybe could be interesting for a few people regarding the uh, um, how it behaves. So, uh, first of all, please have a look uh, on the on the handle. Um, I thought that it's gonna break and that it will be. Uh, really short life for this uh, piece of metal as this is quite thin. In reality I use it every day and um, it's not that bad. Uh, material is thin and as you can see I had to repair it uh, because it is uh, because of those specific uh, rectangular holes it has the tendency to um, crack and uh, I had to do the repair for for that, but repair was successful, and uh, I don't have any major issues with that. By the wheel, uh, by the way, uh, wheel is unprepared in any specific way, so I just want to show it as is. So I didn't clean it. Um, it is on the my daily use. So. Um, just uh, the info for those who want to use it without the mudguard. Um, it's not the best idea because mudguard is really, really necessary. Without that, you're gonna have all your trousers and back uh, very dusty and dirty pretty soon. Um, this is winter use or sp spring use at this moment, so have a look. Um, this is a lot of dust in, in this area. Um, also, um, regarding the um, tire and how it looks like after the 3000 kilometers have a look it's still okay very much okay I think it's okay for another uh, five maybe 10,000 kilometers so it is uh, quite durable um, I had the occasion to replace the tire in the uh, Kingston KS16 after around 6,000 kilometers. It was maximum for my use, which I could do. Um, in 9 watt it looks pretty much okay after around 3,000... Uh, 3,200 kilometers. Um, exactly, have a look here. Yeah, so 3,185 kilometers. Okay, so tire quite okay, handle still okay, um, pedals, please have a look, uh, uh, this is on daily use, it's still original uh, grip, um, I will have to replace it some t in some time because it's not as grippy anymore, but uh, no destruction, it's still okay, but I can feel the difference between this area, for example, and this this area. It it is really uh, much different. As you can see, almost no scratches. Um, so we can say that it is high enough. Of course, some people may use it in a slim, slightly other way. So maybe they will have more scratches, but. I don't complain, it's okay. I have only added the reflective tape here and uh, for to increase the visibility and also on the front there is tape added for an increased visibility. So um, not really a problem. Oh by the way we have to switch it off and on and on again because it was waiting for us about 10 minutes without any movement. Um, so, uh, regarding the battery capacity, it's still full capacity. I don't have any issues with uh, um, the battery level. I can show you here. So, it is fully charged. 
By the way, it is worth making an update for the BMS firmware into 117 version. It is supposed to reduce the uh, power consumption, especially when the wheel is off. But um, time will tell. So far, I don't see any um, uh, huge consumption. I have uh, access to another wheel. Uh, which was about one month uh, without use and it consumed about 20% of the battery only so it's not that bad um, two weeks, more than two weeks is with the uh, updated firmware so um, what next uh, firmware I told you battery is still full capacity uh, so no issues um, Please have a look also on the mods, which uh, as you may know I have designed those things and you can contact me by email to get those. First of all is a pedal openers, so this is quite useful. I found the type of the uh, plastic which matches the color, it's uh, matte black, so it's uh, it fits really well. and. Uh, uh, mechanically it's quite durable. I had no occasion yet to break it. So this is the pedal openers. Second mode is the uh, light adjuster and button, button protector. This is to protect the, the wheel against the accidental switch off. So if you put the finger here it will not switch the wheel off by accident. You have to specifically press inside to switch the wheel off. Also, um, this um, piece has the additional functionality. Uh, if it's darker, you can see that it will uh, turn the light on. By the way, it is not doing this because of the application of the application because application has this tendency to switch this uh, light um, if you connect it on the first on the first time it has the it will switch the light off so that's why it didn't show and uh, I have just installed this application on this phone so that's why now it works um, so when we add some light from the front it will switch off okay if, if it's the during the day if it's getting darker, it will switch the lamp on. But um, if you have the situation that you have the incoming traffic and uh, you have the car approaching from, from the front, without this uh, mod, uh, if you have the beam getting into your wheel, it will sw simply switch your main light off. And it's not that much fun with that. Uh, with this modification, which I have designed, you can see that I'm shining from the front and it has no issues at all. Only if you put it the light from the top. Um, so if you have a daylight, it will switch the main light off. So that's what's this is what's this the functionality for that. Um, next mode which I would uh, like to show is the parking mode. Um, this uh, back of the wheel it is slightly specific because you have this uh, uh, bar aluminium aluminium bar which you can see which is the connector over here but uh, normally it is if you park the wheel it's not really that much stable but um, with those added pieces which I have designed and which I can produce um, it is much improving the stability because when we switch the light the, the wheel off you can see it is quite stable right now be, you can poke it a little bit and it's it's still getting it's still stable it's not like uh, um, without that uh, it is about one kilogram of force which I have to apply to put it off balance without that modification the wheel will simply fall with the lightest touch and uh, so this mod makes the stand really really useful 
now you can park it uh, without any major issues. Okay, so we can turn it on. It will stabilize like this, and so this is another this is another modification I have uh, invented and which I can produce. If somebody is interested, please send me an email. Um, next mod would I would like to show because since about 1,000 kilometers, I'm using this quite specific power supply. Uh, this is the power supply which is uh, produced by. Um, our friend in Ukraine, Vector, and uh, it is quite specific because it has dual current mode. This is low current, which is about 2.9 amp, and um, you can switch it into the high current, which is 6 amp. And um, I have designed additional piece. This is uh, highly specialized. A small version of the charge doctor. This is just my last charge, so it's not connected But it's a miniature version of the charge doctor. It has also the button to set it But um, it works quite okay, and I just made this a very small version And um, this is only for 9 baht because it is with the specialized connector Okay, so the power supply and um, I'm expecting some good news that those con power con that, that those uh, power supplies will be also made smaller even if this one is pretty small to be honest th this one is lightest um, high power power supply which I see which I know um, in the fact to the in fact it is uh, um, it weights less than the original 9 baht charger um, and the original 9 baht charger is 2 amp and this one is uh, 2.9 switchable into 6 amp so it is solving really well the range issue, range anxiety uh, issue because uh, it, you can charge around 330 watt hours per hour of charging. So um, if you go to the lunch or make a short break, it will give you something like uh, one hour of charging will give you something like uh, between 15 and 20 kilometers of range so it's it's quite okay um, also regarding some additional upgrades made by 9bot you may have a look because I have here the lamps um, have a look on the this is used lamp and uh, uh, this one has it's shining too high. This is the old model. Uh, if you are buying the 9 bot right now, Z10, uh, it should be no problem anymore because they have modified the lamp and the newer model has LEDs slightly more up. So there is no problem anymore with light going uh, to the treetops. It is just shining properly on the street. So this is the new model. Lamp looks exactly the same. The only difference is that the LEDs are placed a little bit higher, and on this one it's a little bit lower. So you can compare over here. Yeah, uh, I think after week 44 of the 2018, it's no problem with that anymore. Okay. So um, another upgrade which Ninebot. Uh, made and didn't tell us too much about it is you can have a look I have a handle here this is trolley handle brand new just the um, to have the spare one and um, watch here look here uh, those um, profiles are not too strong and this perforation also is not supporting the longevity I think on the of this handle because it's pretty thin However, they made one improvement. Now you can see that those um, holes here are, are round. So it's less likely that it's gonna crack over here. You can see on the profiles, you can see here also round. If you compare it with the profile over here, have a look, this is square. And especially on this section, um, it cracked already and I had to repair both sides. Um, as I was showing before, it can be repaired using a very strong string and the crazy glue and uh, simply 
this is like simple modification that works pretty well. I, I use it since uh, more than 1000 kilometers for sure and uh, it didn't break. Um, so it's okay and it's kind of acceptable. So um, regarding some updates or uh, information, additional information regarding Z10, please have a look. It's uh, too early. I don't have any issues with the ball bearings but you can have a look here on the type it is 6004 um, those are ball bearings um, I had the chance to be in the uh, technical store so I just got the set for the future for now I, as I said I have no personal issues with the ball bearings but those are original Japanese ball bearings high quality so I had the chance to buy them because I was around so I'm prepared for the for the future and uh, I say that's about it. As this is long review, but um, in short, no issues at all. Over 3,000 kilometers. Um, I do not expect uh, any incoming issues. So far, so good. Um, I think it will be still my will for the 2019, unless Ninebot or some other company decides to build something with. Uh, 19 or 20 inches and uh, white tire and uh, good ride and so on and so on. So for my use um, I'm very happy with the um, how it behaves. Uh, slightly long review but um, if you have any questions uh, you can contact me. So all the best and uh, of course spring is coming so happy riding! Thank you very much! Bye!